It's that time of the year in professional wrestling where WWE continues to build towards WrestleMania. But at the same time, what I'm noticing more and more every single year is fake scripts being released on social media. Today, we're going to take a look at a few of the floating scripts that I've seen on social media. We're going to talk about it, laugh about it, and most importantly, we're just going to relax and talk about what WrestleMania 40 should really look like. So yeah, if that's your kind of thing, go ahead and click subscribe to more Ango. Now, for some reason, there are people who genuinely believe this is the real card, and it kind of makes me laugh considering that almost every match is wrong. Some of these matches have already been announced, which automatically voids this fake card. Uh, but Conor McGregor possibly hosting WrestleMania could make sense considering WWE and UFC are now together. Uh, Rhea Ripley and Becky together. Uh, Roman and Rock versus Cody and Seth. I mean, those are the two confirmed matches. We already know that Jade Cargill and Nia Jax could potentially happen, but it hasn't been told on TV. Um, but other than that, Judgment Day versus Awesome Truth, definitely fake. I mean, it's very clear what I'm trying to tell you is that all of this stuff is practically bullshit. And that's the most important thing that you guys need to know is that it is incredibly easy to fake a WrestleMania card. Let's take a look at another one. Now, this is by far one of my favorite fake scripts because at the end of the day, one, it just looks so obviously fake. But secondly, there are people who genuinely believe this is real. And if you read the very bottom of it, you can see why it's not. So this one also has Conor McGregor hosting WrestleMania 40. Okay, again, I think that makes sense. Rhea Ripley versus Becky Lynch. Okay, this one is legit. Judgment Day versus Awesome Truth, definitely not legit. Also, it's funny because they put that Becky Lynch will win the first match. Judgment Day will win the second match. Then they have Jade Cargill versus Nia Jax, which would be a no contest, which that would be terrible booking. Whoever came up with this, yeah. Don't do it again. Uh, Kabuki Warriors versus Liv Morgan versus, you know, all the women, the women tag team. Uh, Kabuki Warriors retain. That one was part of the other script. So I guess that could also make sense legit if people think that. But the Lo uh, Logan Paul match, the U.S. Championship, definitely not happening. Um, Kevin Owens wins. I guess that could technically be realistic, but it's not happening. It's not a it's not a championship ladder match for six people. Uh, we know that's not happening, but the best part, like I said, the very bottom, Roman Reigns versus The Rock, uh, or I'm sorry, Roman Reigns and The Rock versus Cody Rhodes and Seth frickin' Rollins, and R-Truth is going to cash in Money in the Bank and win the Undisputed Champion. I'm pretty sure that was put there to let everybody know this is fake, because one, Damian Priest is holding the Money in the Bank briefcase, and two, WWE, I, I, I would like to think WWE isn't that dumb. But of course, at the same time too, it is important that we acknowledge that WWE used to be dumb. And if this was Vince McMahon's WWE, that very well could happen. But this is Triple H, Nick Khan, and Endeavor running things now. And obviously this is just baloney. Now you might be wondering, why am I even talking about this? Well, for one, a lot of people keep coming to me and sending me these. They're sending it to me privately on Discord or Twitter or, you know, messaging me on Instagram. And they're like, yo, did you see the script? Is this real? Is this legit? And the fact that a lot of people aren't noticing that this is a trend that happens every year, I want people to realize that it is completely fake. But also, I want to let you guys know that I think it's actually funny. I think it's fun. I think it adds a lot of fun to the experience of going to WrestleMania because you literally don't know what is going to happen. And you see so many people throwing out different, you know, different ideas, different fantasy booking, different predictions, different cards. And I think wrestling is far better and far greater than any other sport because of this. The fact that you have the fantasy bookers and the people that add that extra feeling of like, hey, this could happen, that could happen. I think it's fun, but it's also important for people to understand that these are fake. It's also really important to understand when I fantasy book or talk about things in wrestling, that is my opinion. I am giving you guys it from my perspective, not anybody else's. And I think wrestling should be seen through your own perspective, not somebody else's. Let's be really clear on that. You don't need Dave Meltzer to tell you how to feel and you don't need Ango to tell you how to feel. I'm going to tell you how to feel and I want to hear how you feel and I want to have a conversation together about how we feel and maybe it's just a little bit more funner than sitting there and doing nothing with nobody to talk to because in pro wrestling it is very much an outsider industry and it's starting to become mainstream again but the more people you could talk to about it with I think enhances the experience. So yeah, while these cards are all fake and it's all bullshit and it's just downright silly, there's only two reasons why it's happening. One, you got your engagement farmer blue check mark accounts on Twitter trying to maximize all the revenue off of those fake cards. That's the first reality. 
the second thing that you need to understand is that some people really just love the aspect of coming up with a card and seeing if it actually happens right and i actually understand that by the way i think it is really cool when it happens on a live stream or something when we talk about pro wrestling and something that you predict or something you want to see happen actually happens i think it's cool the problem that I have with these fake cards is that the people are not specifying that they're actually fan made. And that's obviously with the intent to mislead people, which I don't think is cool. But ultimately, WrestleMania 40 is coming and I want to talk to you guys about couple things i want to see now at this time wrestlemania 40 has 10 matches on the card and there's still a lot of people missing from the card and it's tough because every wwe pay-per-view at this point has either been four or five or six matches it is very rare that we get a pay-per-view in 2023 24 with more than six seven matches right we're at 10 there's also a lot of people not on the card. And for me, as a fan of wrestling, there's people I want to see on the card. I want to see Karrion Cross and Bobby Lashley. And of course, I want to see, you know, Rey Mysterio and Santos Escobar. I want to see Bianca Belair, Jade Cargill, Tiffany Stratton. There's just a lot of people who likely won't make WrestleMania this year, which is really unfortunate. So what I want to see WWE do this year, they have 10 matches currently. I would make it six and six. Okay, so announce two more matches for the main card. I would then run two matches each night uh, for the kickoff show. So two kickoff show matches. WWE wants to change the kickoff show anyways. They want to make it more exciting. Do two matches. Maybe, and I don't know who it's going to be, but it doesn't really matter because it's a stadium show and people will see it, right? So without a doubt, two singles matches or two tag team matches, whatever it may be. Then WWE should also do two battle royals. I'm just being honest. I think if you could do two battle royals, it would be really good for the women and for the men. And the winner of each match gets to go on to a mid card title. That's what I would do. Intercontinental Championship or US Championship or Women's Mid Card Championship if they want to reveal one. I don't know, but I think they should do that. I, I feel like it's a good way to get people on the card. There is a lot of people who won't be on the card with with how stacked the roster is and with wrestlemania 40 ideally that's what i would want to see so i want to know what you guys think obviously um a lot of great things are happening in wwe but this is the challenge when you have a stacked roster i also think one thing that you need to mention too or i need to mention at least when i see wrestlemania 40 and i see these fake cards it is amazing to me that everybody has been putting five or six matches that has become the new expectation with WWE. Now that is something different compared to some of these other companies like TNA or AEW where they do far more matches. Ultimately, WrestleMania is two nights, quality over quantity, but at the same time, you need a little bit of quantity as well. This is going to be a very, very long day for us wrestling fans, no matter if there's four matches, five matches, whatever, the long, long shows are here to stay for wrestlemania it's the biggest show and i guess for one time we just got to get used to it so that's why i want to see matches on the kickoff show if i'm going to sit there and watch wrestling for five six hours you might as well give me a couple more matches that's all i'm asking for and i think i think it's not harmful at all to anybody because we get to see some people who otherwise wouldn't be on the card anyways what do you guys think of these fake cards please tell me you at least knew it was fake beforehand anyways i'll see you next time